Integration by parts is needed for the integration of a product of two functions which aren't related by a derivative. From substitution we know how to integrate the integral of x cos x squared dx as x is a multiple derivative of x squared. However, what about the integral of x cos x dx? In this case, both functions x and cos x are not related by derivative and we must use integration by parts. Note that integration by parts is also useful when we have a function which we do not know how to integrate. Integration by parts is the integration version of the product rule. From differentiation, the product rule is given by that d dx of u v is equal to u dv dx plus v du dx. So if we multiply both sides by dx and integrate each term, we would have the integral of d dx of u v multiplied by dx equals the integral of u dv dx multiplied by dx plus the integral of v du dx multiplied by dx. Here we can see that the dx terms cancel out in each integral. And in our first integral we have the integral of d u v. So if we integrate d u v, we're going to simply get u v. While we can tidy up the right hand side to have the integral of u dv plus the integral of v du. And now if we rearrange this expression, bring in v du over to the left hand side, we would have that the integral of u dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. So now we have a formula for integration by parts, that is, the integral of u dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. So we can see that we need to choose a u and a dv. But in our formula, we can see that we need to calculate a du and we need to calculate v. So after choosing u and dv, we need to calculate du and v. Hence, we choose u as a function which we do not know how to integrate, such as ln x or tan inverse x. Or if we know how to integrate both functions, we choose the power function as the differentiation of this function reduces its order by 1 and hence we have an easier integral. Otherwise, any combination will derive the same answer. This can be conveniently remembered using the LIATE method. So that is, if we have an expression of the form, say, inverse and algebraic, we would choose u as the inverse as i comes before a, or if we had an algebraic and an exponential, we would choose the algebraic term as a comes before e in this formula.